So I'm here outside the council offices with Marion, our fantastic leader of our campaign. Thank you, Marion, um, and spokesperson for all of us here. Marion, could you just give us a brief summary of what's been announced after the meeting? Well, I believe um, that, uh, I mean, I know the leader of the council came out a few months ago and gave a statement to the press that um, I think Vistry have agreed to hold a public event to, for people to consider the plans, uh, uh, I believe, in relation to Route 2 and hopefully this roundabout, if Tesco's roundabout, and that, uh, and whilst that is being organised, that the tree felling will stop until such time as that event happens. Um, there's other things that they said in their statement, but I won't go into all of that. I think, um, from my point of view, I'm, I'm delighted to hear that Excuse me, sorry, from my from from okay. my point of view, I'm, well, I'm just delighted to hear that you know that, that uh, colleagues from the council and Vistry have come to some understanding that's going to help the community to have our say finally at last in a formal way to be heard on this. Um, which is what we were asking for from within the petition that we set up and also that um, that the work stops to enable that to happen so we've got the temporary stop that we need I don't know if it's a formal temporary stop but it's an agreed temporary stop and we've got uh, the opportunity for people to be consulted on the plans now clearly I think as you might hear from the statement from Vistry, they are uh, still asserting that trees will have to fall. Now, obviously, 15 trees have already been felled. I think um, we'd like to understand more about what their plans are about that and why. And that's what we've been asking for all along, actually, is that clarification. So hopefully this pause will allow that time for clarification on the basis under which Vistry are doing this work. The plans that they actually have so that people can have a say and, and be informed about that and often or obviously offer the opportunity for for residents to take part in that so i really welcome that both parties have got together and i thank our local mp for helping to enable that too but the biggest thanks has got to go to the community because it's the community it's the people of wellingborough that came out in the last few weeks and said no we're not prepared to allow our heritage to be um, just de destroyed without any understanding of why. I mean, many of us don't want that anyway, but any understanding of why. So if, if some trees have to be felled, we need to understand why that is and how that fits with the plan. We understand there is a plan. The problem is we haven't been able to see that plan. So I just want to say thank you to everyone from across the community for really believing in in each other for all the people that come out that didn't know each other beyond two or three weeks ago that took personal action to make sure that those trees were safeguarded whilst this decision was arrived at and they put themselves on the line for every person that was arrested in trying to put themselves on the line and trying to help there to be justice for our community and for our trees in this community and for the Wellingborough Walks and also to our barrister and the friends from outside our community that have put themselves forward to, to make this happen because I honestly believe without Paul going up the tree the other day that we would not have had this news today. So for me, this is an amazing example of the people of Wellingborough coming together, the sleeping giant that we are, to, to show what matters to us and that we will stand up for what we believe in. So. Well thank said, Marion, and bravo, you. and thank you from all of us. Yeah, thank you,